Hey everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Spiel 2018. I've been joined by Ali Steven Severy of Jumping Turtle Games. And you brought with you a game called The Snitch. Are you actually who you say you are, first of all? Of course not. But uh, <laughs> you can tell, of course. And yeah, you look a little <laughs> suspicious. Yeah, and uh, being suspicious, this, that's everything this game is uh, all about, actually. Okay. So, well, I guess we better get into the game, because yeah. I don't know how much time you have before someone's going to come take you away. Yeah. <laughs> I hear the police already. Yeah, that's right. uh, so, in this game, um, we're all together in prison, yes. and we try to snuggle a gun inside. Oh, I'm also in prison with you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, we try to uh, resolve five schemes in order to get uh, the gun inside of the prison yeah. behind the back of the guard. Okay. Uh, in this game, um, there are two piles. You have the common draw pile, and you have the interrogation deck. Okay. Each time a scheme succeeds, you draw from the common draw pile. Every time something goes wrong, you're sent to the interrogation room. Sure. In the interrogation room are these special cards. And if you draw this one, you're the snitch, you're working together with the police, and you, tr you try to prevent everybody from escaping from prison. So at the beginning of the game, you are not necessarily, you're not the snitch yet, no one no, is. No, everybody is working together. <laughs> okay, and okay. At any point, when things go wrong, somebody might turn. I see. All right. So uh, otherwise, is everyone working together? Then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's basically it starts as a as a cooperative game, and then of course, as soon uh, one card is drawn from here, the paranoia starts already because somebody okay. might already be the snake. Sure. And of course, they'll try to convince everybody yeah. that they're not. So what, what does that sort of a turn look like typically in this game? So uh, there's a, a turn marker, a bar of soap. <laughs> of when course. you get to the soap, it's your turn. Yes. Uh, every player has uh, some cards up hand, in hand and right. a scheme in front of them. Sure. And when it's your turn, you basically play a card from your hands to the player to your left or your right. Right. And uh, you basically put them underneath the scheme. When the guard is not in front of you, you can say like, yeah, psst, I'm sending you Katie to, you, to help you right. out. When the guard is in front of you, you can't say anything because he keeps a close eye on Does you. the guard move around the table or something? Uh, yes, he okay. does, okay. because uh, when a scheme goes wrong, he will run to the cell where something goes wrong. Okay. Also, when the soap passes by, it gets flipped over, and when it passes by again, the guard moves counterclockwise to the next player. All right. Once there are enough cards underneath the gun, the gun is smuggled inside of the game. Then the player has to decide who gets it. You don't want to give it to the snitch, or he will hold everybody hostage around the sure, table. Yeah. Once, uh, once uh, it's decided to get the gun, that player can shoot somebody. That okay. player can't contribute in the final escape. Yes. And then in the final escape, we will check if it worked or not, and then uh, we'll see if it's the snitch one or everybody escaped. Now, one thing I'm curious about: how do I? What is this asking me to do exactly? You're putting cards in here. What, what does this need to be completed? Uh, is let's it give, types let's of give a, let's give an example sure. here. So, uh, this is my scheme. Yeah, so and let's my... just put it right here so the camera yeah, so, can see so it. so everybody yeah. can see it. Right. And somebody played, like, uh, already two cards underneath it. Right. Over here, and my neighbor on the other side will play a card over there. That's what I put in. Yeah. Right. Right now, there are enough cards underneath there. Because it needs three. Because it needs three. Okay. We'll add one random one to it. Right. We give it a quick shuffle. And then they're going to be revealed one by one. And then we're going to check if, uh, it, if the scheme worked or not. There are 10 different characters in the game that yes. who want to help us out. Right. There are also some daggers on some of the cards. Okay. Uh, if all the characters are unique, so there are no doubles, like no two catties or two alphases in this pack, right. it's okay. Also, if there's only one dagger or less, it's also okay. Sure, okay. Let's see if it works or not. Okay, that's okay. Because we're trying to get what? Oh, it we, failed already. We want the cash symbol? What is it we're looking for? We are looking at the characters. Just the characters. Yeah. Okay, we want Elvis is in here. I got gotcha. you. Oh. Right now, this scheme failed because it has uh, two Elvis on it. Okay. And they all need to be unique? Yeah, they all need to be unique okay. to, in order to put them underneath the gun. So did I so, throw that extra Elvis in? It could have been the one that was randomly yeah. put in. And I was like, oh, it wasn't yeah. me. It was the, yeah. it was the it random. It could have been the right. snitch who put like an extra matching character And at that point, it. we would then go to the interrogation room Real where maybe handy. one of us has become the snitch. Yeah. Okay, I That's see. That's basically how it works. Yeah. Uh, and, and how long does a game of this normally take to play? Uh, 
uh, the box has like uh, 30 minutes, right? But uh, technically speaking, once you already know the rules, you can knock out the game within 20 minutes, Pretty I guess. Quickly. And, and how many players? It's from four until six players. Four until six players. And this is, is this available right now for people to pick up if they're interested? Uh, you can always go to the website of Jumping Turtle Games. Okay. Without Excellent. any doubt, you can find it over there. And of course, in the Battle Toy Store. Of course. All right, well, thank you so much for giving us an overview of the snitch. I wasn't the snitch. It was definitely him. And before you get carried away, we're going to say goodbye. <laughs>